Welcome to Einstein's Mechanics. In this episode, we are going to talk about the inverse of a 3 by 3 matrix. So, given a matrix A in the form AIG, which is a 3 by 3 matrix, then the inverse of A is going to be written as A inverse, and that is also going to give us a matrix in the form AJ which is also a 3 by 3 matrix. Now, in this episode, we are going to focus on an approach for finding the inverse of a matrix called the approach using the cofactor and the determinants. And the determinants. So we are going to focus on cofactor and determinant approach of finding the inverse and with this approach the inverse of a matrix a is going to be one on the determinant multiplying the adjoint of the matrix a adjoint of the matrix a are we good so now we know how to find the determinant of a three by three matrix we also know how to find the adjoint of a three by three matrix by transposing the cofactor matrix. So with all that, then we can multiply the adjoint by one over the determinant and we are good to go. So without wasting much time, let's try an example where we are to find the inverse of a 3 by 3 matrix. So find B inverse from the matrix B, which is a 3 by 3 matrix in the form 2, 1, 0, and we have 1, negative 1, positive 1, and 3, 2, 1. So this is the 3 by 3 matrix. We have to find its determinant and also the adjoint, then use it to find the inverse. We are interested in the inverse of matrix B. So in this case, the inverse of B is going to be 1 over the determinant of B multiplying the adjoint matrix B. Are we okay? So here we are going to find the determinant of B. How do we find the determinant of B? I'll prefer to use the third row to find the determinant. Now, that will be dealt of matrix B, and that is going to be comparing it to this positive that I'm going to use this third approach. So the first ray is going to be a positive number, and the sub matrix, the sub 2 by 2 matrix is going to be 1, 0, negative 1, 1. We've tackled how to find the determinant of a 3 by 3 matrix. You can check out for the episode and get it well. And the second one is going to be negative 2, multiplying the 2 by 2 matrix, and that is going to be 2, 0, 1, 1. Then plus 1, the 2 by 2 matrix, which is 2, 1, 1, negative 1. Are we okay? So now this is going to be 3 here, multiplying. The determinant of this is going to be 1 minus 2, multiplying the determinant here, that will be 2, then plus 1, multiplying the determinant here, that's negative 3. Therefore, the determinant of B, dealt of B, is going to be, when you punch everything here, that is going to give you negative 4. So we are going to have negative 4 as the determinant of this matrix B. Are we okay? So now let's move forward and find the cofactor matrix. Before we can get the adjoint of the matrix, we must transpose the cofactor. Therefore, let's find the cofactor matrix. So, finding the cofactor matrix of B, we are going to get the matrix in this form. So, that will be a very large matrix. So the first part, when you take the two, that is going to cancel the first row and the second column. 
the first column first row first column will be out so the sub matrix left that is going to be negative one one that's two and one it's like finding the determinant but here you are not going to add the element to it here you added for the determinant if you take the three you are adding it the two you are adding it by here for the cofactor you are not going to add it the second one will be a negative and the sub matrix will be one one three and one then the third one that will be a positive one negative one we have three and two for the second row we are going to have this is negative and we have the elements one zero and two one so here we are going to have two zero three one and this place that is going to be a negative so we are going to have two one three two this way and the third row this is going to give us one zero negative one by one here we are going to have negative that is two by zero one one and the last one that is going to be two by one one by negative one this way so now we can find the determinant of this two by two matrices and obtain the cofactor matrix so here the cofactor matrix of b is now going to be this matrix finding the determinants here you are going to get the matrix as negative three two five then negative one two negative one we are also going to get one negative two negative three for the determinant of this two by two matrices so now that we have the cofactor matrix we transpose this matrix in order to get the adjoint matrix b so the adjoint matrix adjoint of b that is going to be the transpose matrix b so that is going to give us the matrix in this form and if you transpose matrix b this is what we are going to get we are going to get the matrix negative three negative one and positive one and two two negative two five negative one and negative three so now we have our adjoint matrix we have our determinant and the adjoint we can then look at the formula which says the inverse of b the inverse of b is going to be one over the determinant of b multiplying the adjoint matrix b so straight away let's arrange them according to the formula and find the inverse of b now b inverse so b inverse is going to be one on the determinant the determinant is negative four and multiplying the adjoint matrix this is the adjoint matrix the transpose of the cofactor negative three negative one and one two two negative two five negative one negative three and with this when you multiply the one over four through it you are going to get you can leave your inverse this way as this being the inverse but to simplify it to you can say your b inverse is going to be this form now you multiply through by then one on four negative by every member we know how to multiply a scalar by a matrix so with this this is going to give us a positive three on four this is going to be positive one on four this will be negative one on four this will be two negative two on four negative two on four and this will be positive two on four and on the third row that will be a negative five on four positive one on four and this will also give us positive three on four are we okay so in order to avoid this people will choose to bring out negative one on four then simplify it to this point are we good so with this this is the inverse of matrix b using the cofactor 
and the determinant approach. Cofactor because it is from the cofactor matrix that you are going to get the adjoint matrix. Are we okay? So thank you for watching this episode. This is example one. Check out for the next episode for example two.